Hey guys, it's Lawathor, and welcome back to Lovecraft. Uh, last time we built our copper thing, made a bee tower, had a lot of fun. And now I think we're going to continue on and head over to the shopping district and make a little bee shop to sell honey, honeycomb, and maybe some beehives in it. I have a spot all selected out over here. I don't know why it rains. It, 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 it rains like basically every single day on the server, I feel like. But I have a spot set out. I went ahead and terraformed it and got it set up to build. And let me show you guys that real quick. So here's the area. I went and terraformed it. I raised the ground up by a few. And then I had to extend this out and kind of consolidate it into the ground. And yeah, a lot of dirt. Like 30 stacks of dirt I'd use on this. Um, I tried to fill it in. I think I missed a couple spots, but I got most of it filled in. I got it laid out. I'm gonna make like a sort of medieval building with some with a bee theme, with yellow, yellow and honeycomb and all that. It's not the exact. This isn't the exact dimension. This it'll just fit within this. This is a little bit bigger. But I went and get all my stuff here. Uh, you know, terracotta, some wood, leaves, bees, honeycomb, and then my normal boxes. And yeah, I am good to go. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Whoa! There she is! Woo! Looking pretty good, right? But unfortunately, she's not done. Woo! Splat! <laughs> it's just the front. It's just the front. Um, yeah, um, ran a little short on time. But I got the front done. I'm gonna do dinner and stuff with family. And then maybe tonight, tonight is Friday, and we do our community days. I'm gonna maybe hop on and do the rest of it then. Uh, see if anyone else hops on on Friday night as well with me. Um, but yeah, but I got to do the back side, which will be a little bit easier. It's basically the same, just no door and then these sides. And then I got to do the, the inside as well, but I'll do that off camera probably tonight. And I'll just show you guys as I updated it with each piece. But yeah, I think it's looking very nice. And let me go ahead and time skip and I'll show you guys when it's all done. Okay, it's the next day, and I'm pretty much done. I might do a few minor things to it, but I'm going to show you guys. Here it is. She's all done. Woo! Ignore my little storage thing. I got to clean that up still. I don't know why that cow... I don't know where that cow came from. It just must got here. But let me do a quick walk around. I got lots of greenery, because I want to give it a very nature -y feel. So I got these little pink flower beds things in the front here. I really like them. I did it with moss to make sure they pop out with the green. If you're not sure on grass colors, just use moss but flowers. The side ones are red. Got some concrete there. And same thing on the back. But you got to break it up a bit with some pots and the big pots and stuff. So I, I did that a little bit. The windows are, you know, obviously uh, yellow and green glass. But instead of the orange glass, I did the honey because it's not as see-through. So it kind of makes it a little bit different. Did a little bit of styling here and there. But here, let me let me go to the front and I'll do a little quick free cam around the outside for you. And to give a better full view. Got some plants up here like before. Uh, I think I mentioned that earlier. <laughs> it's been like a day. I forgot what I mentioned originally. But try to add in a lot of detail without overdoing it. I might have gone a little bit too much detail, but that's okay. Uh, let's go inside because the inside's all done too. I got this little staircase thing that leads to the inside. Boop. We'll come back to him last, but over here on the right, we do have a couple of bees in here. One of the things was had three, and there's three different things, so they kind of wander around, so make sure you keep the door shut. But first off, we have bees' nests, which are these ones. They each have three bees in them. I don't say that, but they do, and they're 16 because these are kind of, kind of hard to get. You can't remake them. They're limited. Uh, regular beehives, these ones, they each have three bees in them, and they are eight each. And then we got some bee heads. I did a few, so I priced them kind of hard at high at eight diamonds each. We got our ender chest and crafting table. And we have a guest book you can sign if you start on this page. 
leave a review, make some rude comment, you know, whatever works. Over here we got honeycomb, which I have almost full. There's 16 per diamond, which I think is fair. I might, well, if I get more, if I get up full more, I might reprice that. And then honey is um, 16 per diamond as well. This isn't all the way full though. And then honeycomb is uh, one for 32. So it's better to buy this than that, but you know, you can turn that into this. So yeah, basically if, if people want this, I want them to buy this and not take these in turn. This is for waxy. But I try to do some decorations on each of them, make each one different and unique, and kind of put also what they have, like a bee head here, some uh, beehives, uh, a bee's nest, you know, each one has. And then this really cool Archie with copper, because I don't know, copper goes with bees for some reason in my mind. So I got that. And then I got some little flowers to give it a little bit of the, the weird pollen stuff. And then some of the honeycomb actually leaks yellow. Yeah, look at that. See, those also leak a little bit too. There's a little tiny room up there you can't get to and I'm okay with that because it has a bunch of bees in it. Let me freak him up there. I got four uh, beehives in here full of bees. One little flower so they'll try and navigate to that. But they want to get out to these things for some reason. But that way it gives a little animation if you're looking up here or you hear the bees floating around. They're stuck in here. They shouldn't be able to get out. I think if you open these things they can get out. Oh, these ones for sure. So please don't open those. They will all escape and that would be a big old bummer that's my bee shop i haven't given a name yet probably just call it the bee shop i'll look you can see them up there but it is done took me like three slow days to make and i'm very glad with it oh oh i forgot one thing one thing we're gonna do i thought about this just right before i record this i have this guy here a little little bee soldier bees are yellow and black this is yellow and brown so i thought i was looking though i could do is do gold armor with netherite trim that kind of is like a dark gray and it'd be really expensive because i'm going to need four pieces of netherite and four armor upgrades but hey what are you doing over there but i figure why don't we why don't we head back to the nether and do that and update that i think that'd look better and kind of be a flex too i think so we'll head back we'll go get some tnt i need some sand some tnt and we'll try and get enough to make four so i need what 16 and maybe even more of that to upgrade our last couple pieces of tool you know we have like three more tools we need to do honestly we can do a hoe do this let's just get everything let's try and get a whole stack whatever we'll get a bunch of tnt just go to town so let's go ahead and do that back home we got the scrap all smelted up let's go ahead and combine this into nine uh, I had a little extra so I kept it in there in case I need to trade with wandering traders but nine's really good I will take that I decided just to do something simple we'll do all all of the silence trims I hope that gives kind of a it gives the most black so that kind of gives like a B look and I think that will be just fine There we go. Okay, that looks way better. More bumblebee-like. The black and gold versus the ugly brown. We can just throw these on the ground and pretend they never existed. Oh, not that. <laughs> I think that was the final thing we needed for the shop. I don't... I, we need to stock some stuff up a little bit better. But there's enough supplies for at least a few stacks of everything. And yeah, the statue looks very good. Okay, cool. It's the next day. Let's head over to the shop and see if we have made any sales. I think a couple of people said they went and bought some stuff. Let's see if we have sold anything. Oh, there's one diamond there. One for 32. Yep. Uh, no honey sales. Uh, hmm, maybe not as many people I thought. I thought like... Bees. Uh, oh! Oh my gosh, here's a bunch. Okay. Oh, uh, that's really good. Whew. Um... Decorate. I don't know. That's fine. Yeah, stacking some more. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to have to get some more beehives or something. But yeah, that's pretty good. The next thing I kind of want to show you guys is I've been doing a little bit of terraforming at my base. Well, not terraforming, but but setting up some, like, uh, okay, a little bit of terraforming. But uh, setting down some uh, walls and stuff. I got this one over here. It's nighttime, so everything's all dark. Oops. Speaking of falling in the water. Okay, um, so what I got is I've been putting these walls up 
as kind of like a little barrier, make my place a little more protected. And then also been doing some decorations. I really like these little nether grasses. I had some red ones at the place and these green ones. They can go on grass like regular stuff. Them with the little um, the little blue swamp flower and some reds. I think it makes it pop. And of course we got uh, Frogs for Life's little wither here still. And up here. And then over here, you'll notice this is dark. It's dark for a reason because I'm trying to collect creepers. But I did this one as well. What I want to do is I want to make a little lightning farm. Because what I've been doing, you guys remember back a few episodes ago, I've been collecting all of the mob heads. Well, I've been collecting a few more off screen. Let me go over there and show you what I got. Down here, I have all these heads. And so I've kind of, these are these, you see the little spots with, no, that's places I need to get. See the spots with little things? That's the ones I still need to get. Uh, for example, a really rare blue axolotl one, blaze. Uh, charge creeper. I think this is one of the cats. Uh, this is a creeper here. Some other ones here and there. But some of the ones I've gotten recently. Let's see. I think I've gotten some of the cats. Oh, the cave spider. I got that one. That one actually wasn't too hard. We got it. I got it. I got the head. That was easy. Let's get out of here. Uh, but down here we got some of the pandas. We're missing all but two. I think the, the there's one, the brown one. Oh, and we got another parrot too. I think we went to a jungle and spent like two days in the jungle doing that. But there's a few odds and ends that are kind of hard to get to like 1% or 2% drop rates. But if you get a charged creeper to explode, it's a 100% drop rate. So we need to make a little creeper farm, which I started setting up so just some basic testing stuff over here. We could do a simple little manual one or whatever, uh, but might set up a bigger one underground. Nice thing about these boats is if they catch skeletons or zombies, they'll just burn in the daylight. But I need a trident. No one has a trident. So I think I need to set up a trident farm. And I was looking up and it seems like a river is the best thing. If you notice, I got I up here in the corner, it says plains. Um, if we fly around, I was hoping that maybe one of these little like things would be a river and we could build it there. Because <clears throat> the way that drowns work is they'll spawn in oceans. They'll spawn in water that's two blocks high that's in oceans, but only so deep. Underground aquifers and dripstone caves, if they're down below, or rivers at basically any level. And I'm like, oh, cool. Well, maybe I have a river nearby. It's flying around. And this big lake here, you notice, is a river. <laughs> the middle of it's like a river, which is so weird. It's like partial plains, partial river. So if we build one in the middle of that, really high up, where it's like no, no other mobs, it would be a drown farm or a trident farm. But we're gonna have to build it up, and I want to make it look nice. So maybe a giant like floating tower, like my, the one at shop where it's like crystal base or something. Or maybe we could turn it into some weird airship castle, or maybe a floating island, something. Something above here and so high up. We got to do like 200 up and then another 100 up. It's going to be pretty big and massive and like eyesore. But if we make it look really nice, I think it could really work out. And that's the idea. Um, I don't want to do a time lapse because I'm not really quite sure it'll build it. And the problem with time lapses is you kind of have to do them in one city for the replay mod to work. And I want to experiment with this a little bit. So I might just start working on it and show you guys updates as I go. But that's the idea, is to build a trident farm so that way I could build a charged creeper farm so I could get all the mob heads. I mean, honestly, with that, I could also get wither heads and stuff super easy too if I want to extend it out even more. We'll see how where, where we get with that, but that's kind of what I've been working on in my, plan, my plan to go with next. I went ahead and mapped out the whole little river. You notice the top upper left here, it says river. And this is all river. If I go to the edge here in some edge, you'll notice it goes to plains. Yeah, this is this is all river. This is a, a weird river hole and everything around it in plains until it's, a lot of my island is actually stony shores, but around it all is plains. And this is just a weird river sinkhole thing. I don't know. It's very weird. Oddly enough, if we go right over here to the same thing, this is a river surrounded by plains and stony shore as well. But we are going to take this one because I don't want to be close, too close to Rogue and kind of, you know, I want to have a good view of his island. But I am going to build it here. I've kind of mapped out the perimeter. Um, I think it's too big. I think I might make it smaller. 
I don't think I'm going to build in the sky. I think I'm going to build it lower down as a normal, like, island tower thing. And, I don't know, I got some ideas, but I kind of want to work on them. So I think we're going to go ahead and save those for next episode. Uh, yeah, we got our shop done, and we had a lot of fun. And make sure you tune in the next episode so you can see my really badly designed drowned farm. Woo!